Dr. Momborquet joins us at the University of Lethbridge. He's from the Faculty of Education. We're talking about getting back into the swing of things with the school year right around the corner. So Dr. Momborquet, tell us a little bit about some tips of easing back into it. It can be a little bit stressful, I think, getting right back into that swing of things with the school year. Well, in the first part, Fallon, is for many children, it can be a, a lot stressful. They're curious about who their classmates are going to be. They're really curious as to who their teacher might be. And they, they approach school with, you know, excitement, as well they should, because it is an exciting time of year, but also with some trepidation. And really what's important for parents to do in those first couple of days is to be attuned to their own children, to be able to open to listen to them, be, let them tell the story to see how those first days are going to encourage the establishment of new friendships, to encourage building the relationship with the teacher, to encourage a sense of, of coming back to regularity, to consistency. I mean, they've been off for two months, and in most ho households in the summertime, it's a, it's a time of freewheeling, it's a time of kids coming and going as they choose, it's a time of going on vacation, and, and, and the world is just taken on a different air. Building in also, it's helpful for parents to working with children of knowing the spot in the house where children can go to work. And in this, in this day and age of uh, almost unlimited technology, not a spot where children are off on their own and, and unobserved and, and not within eyesight of, of parent or older sibling and someone to keep an eye on them. And now let's talk about maybe say if you're a university student, this is your first year, you're out on your own. What are some ways to establish, as you mentioned, those boundaries, getting yourself with a set schedule back again? Because like you said, you may have been working a summer job or I remember staying up till three or four o'clock in the morning. How is kind of a way for a student on their own for the first time to get back into that rhythm? Well, and, and if we address it almost from the, the first year university perspective, because by the time they're here for three or four years, they, they know the system. It begins right away. There's no lag time. There's no slow approach into that. And if you take anything away from this message, if you are a new university student or college student, get at it on day one. Find out quickly from your professors or your college instructor what your assignments are going to be, map out a schedule throughout the semester. The semester in, within college and university is much shorter than what you're traditionally used to coming out of your high schools. Pay attention to that schedule. Work out a time frame for yourself. Get some sleep. I know there's a fair bit of partying that's going to go on and, and that other types of celebration that one will do when you're a, a late, uh, late teen, early 20-something, but you need to establish some regularity for yourself. I think those are really great tips for starting out. Now let's go back talking about teens and tweens, high school, middle school. It's a very essential and important time in, our, in their lives and can be kind of stressful and they're going through a lot of things that maybe even parents can relate to or maybe new challenges that parents these days don't, don't, don't understand. So how can parents go about dealing with these issues that a lot of teens and tweens are facing today? Well, I, I think that the most important message that I, I would like to deliver and is based upon my own research. And one of the really neat things about being a university professor as opposed to the, my almost uh, 25 years of being a school leader. I was a principal of middle school, I was a principal of an elementary school and for a very long time I was a principal of a high school. Is the sense that in the tween years but most certainly in the adolescent years the importance of parents having regular ongoing conversations with their children. Numerous researchers across North America including my own research talks about the value of that family meal. And that family meal where people, whatever the adult relationship is in the house and whatever the child relationship is in the house, that all of them are sitting down together at some point in that evening and sharing food together. It's a natural end to the conversation. Dr. Momorkhead, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. We are full back in swing, four back to school. Stay tuned. We'll have more on Go Southern Alberta right after this.